For this video in the Pharmaceutics video series, we will be showing you how to make a potassium gluconate solution. The first thing you are going to want to do is gather all of your materials. For this prep, you are going to need the potassium gluconate drug, two graduated cylinders, a conical graduated cylinder, a two ounce amber bottle, weighing papers, a spatula, stirring rod, and black sharpie, and cherry syrup, and an electronic balance. Make sure you calibrate the balance before using it. For step two, you are going to want to clean all of your glassware. Step three is calibrating your prescription bottle. Since this prescription calls for a final solution volume of 60 milliliters, you will fill a graduated cylinder with 60 milliliters of DI water, You will then pour the water into your amber bottle. And finally, you will mark the water line using a black sharpie. This is where your final solution volume should come up to. For step four, you are going to want to weigh the potassium gluconate. It's a good idea to fold your weighing paper before you add the drug so that the drug doesn't easily fall out. Make sure you zero your balance with the weighing paper before you add the drug. Begin adding potassium gluconate to the weighing paper until you get the desired amount. When you start nearing the final weight, you can tap the tip of the spatula to slowly add drug so that you don't overshoot it. For step five, you are going to dissolve the potassium gluconate in water. Add the potassium gluconate to your conical graduated cylinder. You are going to measure out 30 milliliters of DI water, which is half of the prescription volume. Add the water to the conical graduated cylinder. Begin stirring, making sure you dissolve all of the particles. This may take several minutes. Holding the conical graduated cylinder with your hand can warm the solution and make the dissolving go faster. When your solution appears clear and transparent, you have finished dissolving your drug. Pour the solution into your amber bottle. For step six, you are going to rinse your solution using cherry syrup. You are going to add a total of 30 milliliters of cherry syrup to the bottle. Add 10 milliliter increments to the conical graduated cylinder and try rinsing as much of the solution as you can out of the cylinder and into the bottle. QS your final solution using the cherry syrup. Make sure you fill the bottle up to the calibration mark. Cap your bottle and swirl it gently. Your final solution should appear clear and free of particles.